a cargo ship has hit a barge full of rocks in the English Channel, as Storm Angus continues to batter the south coast of England. Eleven crew members were evacuated by helicopter after the 200M longship got into difficulty off the coast of Sampire Ho near Dover. The RNLI said lifeboats were standing by and a tug from Boulogne was on its way to remove the ship. Storm Angus has lashed the south of England with high winds and rain. A RNLI spokesman said of the cargo ship, at this point there is no indication of any environmental leak concerning the cargo ship's fuel. The tug should be on site to secure the Saga Sky by late morning, and while the barge is taking on water, it is currently not thought that it will sink, the spokesman added. Storm Angus, the first named storm of the winter, has brought gusts of up to 106 miles per hour, recorded 23 miles off the coast of Margate, while gusts hit 80 miles per hour at Langdon Bay in Kent. More than 15 flood warnings and a Met Office Amber warning of high winds for the Isle of Wight, Kent, and Sussex are in place. The Met Office said gusts of 70 to 80 miles per hour were possible in those areas and residents were warned to be prepared for possible disruption to travel services and power supplies, and some damage to buildings. Wind gusts have reached speeds of 68 miles per hour in Dover, Kent, and at Berry Head, Devon. 58 miles per hour in Portland, Dorset, and 55 miles per hour in Brighton, East Sussex. Almost 2,000 properties in the southwest of England, the majority in Devon, are currently without power, according to Western Power Distribution. A Met Office Yellow Be Aware warning for winds of up to 65 miles per hour and heavy rain has also been issued for a larger area stretching from the southwest along the coast to southeast and east England, including London, and is valid until 1400 hours o'clock GMT. There are also flood warnings in place for southeast England and South Wales. Devon and Cornwall Police declared a major incident because of flooding at the mill on the Mole Residential Park, South Moulton at 4.15 GMT. Heavy rain had caused the river mole to send water through the site up to 4 feet deep, police said, but the flood started to subside by 5.50 and the residents who had been evacuated were able to return. Devon and Somerset Fire and Rescue Service said some properties in Brunton were flooded after a nearby river burst its banks, and in Bradeford a number of properties had been flooded by about 2 feet of water. Meanwhile, Dorset fire crews have been called to flooding to roads and multiple properties from seawater in East Bar, Swanage. In East Sussex, organizers of the Brighton 10K tweeted that the run had been cancelled because of the high winds. Met Office forecaster Simon Partridge said, it is the first storm of the season, coming quite late at this time in November. This will be a bit of a shock to the system for most people in terms of wind and rainfall. Any weak branches are likely to come down in the first storm. White Link Ferries said two late-night sailings on its Portsmouth-Fishburn route had been cancelled because of exceptionally high winds. The Port of Dover said ferry crossings had been temporarily suspended due to very high winds, but the port remains open to arriving customers who are advised to contact their ferry operator before travelling. Rail Company Southern put speed restrictions in place until 9 o'clock on Sunday. Roads blocked. Southeastern said it was also putting speed restrictions in place, and that most trains before 10 o'clock on Sunday would not run to allow network rail to check tracks for possible debris. Southwest trains said it had imposed speed restrictions in a number of areas and a small number of early morning services had already been cancelled to allow officials to check the lines for any trees or obstructions. The storm's effects have also been felt in the Channel Islands, with a wind gust of 84 miles per hour recorded in Guernsey and gusts of up to 87 miles per hour in Jersey. Police in Jersey said several roads had been blocked by fallen trees and one road had been blocked by a wall collapse. The Met Office's Mr. Partridge said the storm was expected to move off quickly into the North Sea at about midday on Sunday, leaving the rest of the day dry with sunny spells. Northern areas can expect more cold weather, with fairly light winds and clear skies. High ground in the Penines, Peak District, and the Yorkshire Dales saw a covering of snow on Saturday, with light snowfall in some lower ground in West Yorkshire.